is going on YouTube? This is Lawrence, the Mighty Comics Guy, back with another video. And today I'm going to be sharing with you two books that I was able to pick up earlier in the week. And they are two books that I've been searching for for quite some time. Uh, one of which has really, really skyrocketed in price and I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get it. But uh, I recently found a good deal on eBay and I was happy to work with the seller to, uh, to bring that book home finally. But the first one I'm going to be showing you, I've already unboxed only because I, I kind of hate fumbling around uh, with the camera and, and unboxing stuff. And especially with me not being on screen right at the moment, uh, it's kind of easier for me to unbox it and then show you guys what it is. So without further ado, I'm going to show you uh, the first book. And that is, I know I've spoken about it recently. Uh, I planned on doing a ASM run 1 through 100 and I still may do that. But in order for me to do that, I got to start with some big ASM keys first. So here it is, the first book I'm showing you. And that, of course, is Amazing Spider-Man number six, the first appearance of the lizard. It's got off-white to white pages, CGC 3.5. This book is actually not that badly priced. Um, I was able to pick up this book with an eBay coupon of, for under $400 at a 3.5, which I think is okay. Um, that's with, with shipping and everything. So under 400 bucks for a 3.5 First Lizard, I thought was fair. Um, books look looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, there's some chipping along the right side, but other than that, some you know there's a, a, a few color breaking creases along the spine, um, spine wear, but overall a really really good looking book. Um, I'm happy to start my ASM run with it. And of course, I already have some some ASMs in my collection, being ASM two, um, ASM fifty, thirteen, fourteen, all the big first appearances. So, but this is one first appearance I did not have, and it was definitely on my list to pick up uh, when I found a fair deal, and I was happy to do so. I really thought that uh, my uh, end of year collecting was done, but uh goes to show you when you find good deals and, uh, you know, it's worth picking stuff up like this, especially if it's undervalued. So, that's the first book, guys. I have one more I'm going to be showing you. I know this is going to be a quick video. Um... I'm not sure if they're ever going to do a lizard again in the, in the MCU. It was done not greatly in uh, the Sony universe. Um, I, I like Reese Evans as, as the lizard but in Kirk Connors, but I didn't like the way the lizard looked. So, for me, I didn't like those movies at all. The, the ones with Tobey Maguire weren't bad, but obviously the new ones with Tom Holland are a lot better. More uh, classic Spidey with a few new things thrown in. But, um... The other book, guys, I'm going to be showing you is a big one. Um, it's a book that has gotten a lot more expensive over the past year. Um, I've owned this book before a couple of times. The first one, first time I had it, I had a 4.0 CGC signed by John Romita, and I'm kicking myself that I got rid of that book. Uh, I, I also picked it up a few months ago, and I, I picked up a raw copy. And I found out that there was some color touch on the cover, so I was able to return it. But uh, the other day, I spotted this book on eBay, overpriced, and I kind of messaged the owner saying, hey, this is what I'm willing to pay for it. What do you think? They came back with a, a reasonable counter offer, and I accepted it. And we were off to the races, and I was happy to get this book back before Christmas. So this way I could show you guys I can show you another ASM major key that I was able to pick up. I'm going to throw that in front of the camera now. A nice, nice copy for this book. And let me get up and show you this now. And this, of course, is Amazing Fantasy... I'm sorry, Amazing Spider-Man number 14, first appearance of the Green Goblin. Um, to me, this is obviously Spider-Man's greatest foe. Uh, all throughout the history of comics, he has been that way. Um, a major, major key to me finally picking up. Uh, I paid a lot of money for it, but it was definitely under what it's valued at. 
but I'm just happy to finally pick this book up. It's a CGC 3.5 as well, off white to white pages as well. So it really pairs nicely with my, my ASM 6 now. So uh, finally, finally happy to have this uh, graded copy in my collection. Um, I was really disappointed the first time when I got that, that 14 with color touch because I really thought it was a really nice copy. But uh, I went safe this time and picked up a graded book this way I didn't have to worry about it at a fair price. I think I paid 900 bucks for it. So happy to add this to my collection. Happy to start my ASM run. And we'll keep going from there. This is Lawrence the Mighty Comics Guy saying, subscribe to my channel, guys. Thank you for watching my videos. More good stuff to, good stuff to come, including a tour of my comics room once I get all my books back from crossover grading so definitely change some stuff up i want you guys to see it so this is lawrence the mighty comics guy saying thanks for watching my video and i'll talk to you guys soon